Hello guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to get your Twitter or X uh, API key, the client ID, and the client secret. So of course you're going to need to have a Twitter account. And once you have your Twitter account, you are going to want to go to developer.twitter.com and sign in with your Twitter account. Once you sign in, you are going to be uh, greeted by your dashboard, which looks like this by default. Um, so the way you get to your uh, uh, API key, you're going to go to your project. Now, I already have a project here, but if you don't have one on your own, uh, you are going to need to create one. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not going, I'm just going to go with a default project here. So, um, with a project here, uh, there is a default project. You go to here and um, you can see the app ID over here. Um, and then you're going to want to go to edit. So in your edit, you can see a the keys and tokens section here. And if you click that, you can find your API, your API key and your secret key. So you can regenerate this if you want a new one every time. Um, but if you notice, there is no client ID and client secret here. And the way to do that, of course, is first you're going to uh, go to your user authentication settings down here. And you need to set it up. And you can set up your user authentication settings. Um, it's basically just whatever you need for your projects, right? So, for example, read and write. I'm going to tick this on. I'm just going to go with the native app. And uh, your app info, um, you're going to need to provide a callback or redirect URL. For example, every time uh, a user logs in and passes the authentication, you're going to direct them to, say, your account settings page um, of your own app. Right. So in my case, um, to keep it simple, uh, let's do just put in some filler here. So let's just go with twitter.com um, for your website. This is your own website that you're going to put in and everything else, else is optional. Of course, your terms of service and privacy policy pages as appropriate, you are going to need to fill this in accurately. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to um, put in a the same link. So once I quick save, uh, once I click save, and if we go to our keys and tokens here, you can see that I now have my client ID and my client secret. So that's how you can find them. So the API key is here, um, your client ID is here, and your client secret is here. And that's it. Um, if, you've, if you guys found this helpful, please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.